so, um, so I'm going to start off with just sort of giving you an overview of this project and, uh, and then as I mentioned before, we're going to split this in two parts. Uh, Hugo's going to be talking about the nerves component, uh, and then I'll go ahead and talk about Scenic. Um, so uh, this, the code for the app that we're showing tonight is uh, up on our civil code uh, repo. So if you'd like to check out that code afterwards, um, certainly please do so. Um, we are certainly standing on the shoulder of giants here. Uh, so some of this was derived from uh, a nerves course that we did at Elixir uh, Conf. Um, and also, you know, you know this uh, Boyd who's creating this scenic UI library. And of course, this stuff would not be, uh, not, would not be possible without these, uh, without these people. So I'm just gonna give you a quick demo of what this looks like to get started. So to get, provide a little bit of uh, a little bit of context here. So, so hopefully all this is going to work. So we have a Raspberry Pi device here with a camera, as you can see. Hello, Hugo. And um, we have, uh, so the, and this camera, um, sorry, the video feed is actually streaming here from this device. Uh, so we've got a, um, uh, just a, a simple plug app running on this. We're streaming the video. Uh, we have on my laptop here, we have a Scenic UI. Um, and this is our simple checkout system. So uh, with scanning a Q code, Hopefully we'll, uh, whoops, that will work. We've got another Q code and another one. All right, okay, so that's all working, excellent. So that's the basics of it um, and we'll go into sort of the details of how these pieces are uh, put together. All right, that seems to be working, I think. Okay. Demo, we've done that part. Um, so here's an amazing diagram. <laughs> um, I think the best reaction this evening was when, uh, when Hugo saw this and he said, you just used the diagram off the whiteboard? I'm like, yep. <laughs> so, so Hugo's probably still in shock with this. Um, is that going to work? Oh, okay, cool. All right. Okay. So at least I've got something fancy there. Uh, so, um, so as was said, like we've got this, uh, we've got the scanner running on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, we have everything else uh, running on the laptop. So we've actually got uh, two, uh, well, yeah, two applications here. We've got the actual uh, scanner application. Uh, and so that's essentially the domain logic for doing scanning um, using uh, libraries such as uh, PyCam. And we also have a application for the scanner uh, firmware and that's where we build the application um, for the target to, uh, to burn and push to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, and of course this is all supported uh, by NERVS. Um, on, the, uh, on the laptop, um, you would have seen our checkout UI, uh, so that was using Scenic. Uh, and also we have a domain application for the checkout and that's where the data is, lives for um, the Q code mapping to the pricing. Um, and this is actually all done by a sort of a pub sub type model. And when we say pub sub, we're certainly at the very basics of pub sub, uh, where we have uh, this checkout um, that is remotely subscribed to our scanner. And so that is basically feeding in our scans to our checkout process. Uh, when the checkout um, essentially you know, gets, that, uh, gets that code, it will look up the price for that and uh, then it will call a, um, it will send out a refresh to any subscribers and that's how the checkout UI is, uh, is being updated. Uh, and I also mentioned that and now um, in the scanner app, like we've got this plug app that's going on and that's actually streaming um, data to the browser. So that's what you're seeing in the, seeing in the browser there. 
and that's uh, that's actually the layout. And so to kind of get a feel for whoops, where's almost there? Nope. There we go. Excellent. Okay. And so to sort of give a, a quick feel of the layout um, of the application from that sort of crazy diagram you just saw, hopefully that file structure sort of maps to, to what you just saw. Um, so the, I, I guess the sort of the interesting thing about this is that, uh, and I've, admittedly I've never heard the term before, but this is a poncho app where um, uh, so um, I won't go into technical details because I won't be able to explain them very well, but there is, um, when you're sort of dealing with uh, firmware like this, um, there are some problems dealing with umbrella apps. Uh, so they talk th about this Poncho app where it's really just uh, folders of your separate applications and they're using the path reference um, to link dependencies. So we can show you what the, the mix file uh, looks like in that. So that's the intro to uh, what we're gonna be demoing tonight. Um, so the idea is we're gonna probably, we're gonna start off with doing a, like a Hello World version of getting started with NERVs. Um, and then we'll do a code walk, walk through in terms of how the, uh, the scanner and the scanner firm, firmware looks like. We'll take a little break and then I'll uh, get into Scenic. Um, and that would be the looking at the checkout UI, but also how that links into the, into the checkout. Uh, and I'll start off with doing a bit of a Scenic uh, Hello World as well, so you can get sort of grounded in terms of how that's structured. All right, I'm going to switch over to Hugo, and he's going to get you started with nerves.